Hey guys, it's me again, i 41 Today I'm here with another video on PvP. And today I'm going to show you how you in a frigate can kill a battlecruiser. It is very easy and simple. And with this simple fitting, you too can be the strongest frigate around. So stick around and watch this video as we deep dive into the retribution. But I also wanted to thank you all for your massive support. I started this channel dedicated to Eve a little over a month ago and I already wanted to make a thank you video for 500 subscribers but it's already a bit more than 500 and if this goes on it will turn into a thank you video for 1000 subscribers in no time anyway a big thank you to all of you guys you're awesome but if you want to go and hang out with me also go check for the discord link in the description hope you guys are having a phenomenal time and i hope we will keep on going strong anyway let's get right into the actual topic of this video the Retribution is a T2 Amar Assault Frigate. Its skill requirements aren't very high, and with Amar Frigate 5 opening so many possibilities for you, it is a valid starter option for anyone. Thanks to its insane speed, 50% signature reduction penalty for using MWDs and high line speed, this ship is a dream ship. But not only that, it comes with an assault damage control that makes you temporarily basically invincible, very good DPS and very good potential range, being able to compete with cruisers and all that in a reasonably cheap hull, costing you no more than a caracal would. But skills are king and you should make sure that even if you got the ship, you should make sure that you have decent gunnery support skills as well. It affects all guns so make sure you get those skills up anyway even if you don't want the ship. They will help you with range, tracking and DPS, just making you stronger in general. So make sure that you get all the skills listed here to help you with your speed, but also especially the rigging skills, so the fitting actually works at all. And as always, you can find the ship fitting in the description. The fitting is focused around speed and being able to decide where and how you want to fight. So make sure that you stay out of webbing range. As webs mean death, especially to this ship, as you will lose your speed and therefore your transversal advantage. At all times make sure that you keep your distance, so you don't get webified. Especially when not alone but in a small group, this ship will be incredible, as you will be able to hold down targets and deal your own DPS on top. Becoming Mr. Multitasking Man. And if you follow all these tips, you too can take on and out even battle cruisers, because you, you're the best, of course you can. But make sure to watch out for anything of rapid light missiles, Hugans, Balgorns, Curses, anything really that can either ignore your speed or simply make your speed go bye bye. But also make sure that you always switch between your different ammo types. It goes instantaneously with crystals, so always use the appropriate damage type for what range you're fighting at. You have Gleam and Multi Frequency for short range, dealing the highest amount of DPS but also giving you the least range, standard for up to 30 km and high tracking. And Aurora for insane range, but the tracking will suffer. Although due to it being tier 2 ammo, the damage will not suffer that much. Anyway, this is all from me guys. Now go ahead, grab your retributions and grab your friends and blow up some stuff. Did I mention that this ship does mainly EM damage, meaning it is perfect for killing Ishtars? Well, now I did. Hope to see you guys next time.